Thank you to the Rare Disease United Foundation for bringing everyone together today to commemorate Global Rare Disease Day. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I join you in honoring the advocates, the doctors, the nurses, the caregivers, loved ones, and all those living with rare diseases. I'd like to give special acknowledgement to State Representative Paul Haro and the amazing Patricia Furland Welton. Patricia is an exceptional executive director and by founding the Rare Disease United Foundation, she has built a lasting foundation in the battle against rare diseases. One in 10 Americans has one of 7,000 rare diseases. And while we may call them rare diseases, we know that there is nothing rare about the courage, the compassion and the commitment of those working to raise awareness about those diseases on a daily basis. Painfully, it can be several years before a diagnosis is made of a rare disease, which in some instances means that those suffering don't have access to necessary medical support services. And even when diagnosed, there are few treatments and funding is very limited for potential treatments. When I was in the House of Representatives in Congress, I helped pass the Expanding and Promoting Expertise in the Review of Rare Treatments or Expert Act, which provides researchers, academics, patient advocates, and other rare disease experts a larger role in FDA's review of new rare disease treatments. We know that information about the severity of diseases, the risks patients may be willing to take, and improved clinical trial designs will help facilitate the review process, bring new rare disease treatments to market quicker and more easily, and help bring these therapies to the patients who need them. But we know there is much more to do. We need to make sure that we fully fund the important research being done at the National Institutes of Health. That is in helping to find the cure, helping to find the treatments that are going to be necessary. We need to make sure that patient advocates, the federal government and industry continue to work closely together to meet the needs of rare disease patients. And I pledge that I will continue to work with the Rare Disease United Foundation and everyone in this room to work to give hope to the countless patients and their loved ones who believe that there are treatments out there. With the energy, the support of each person in this room, I know that one day children will have to look to their history books to ever know that there were such, such things as an incurable rare disease. I thank you all so much for everything that you do. This is a huge uh, commitment which you make and I just wanna let you know that I wanna be a partner with you in all of your efforts. Thank you so much.